Hey guys, Shweta here and today I want to talk to you about my process of minimum viable launching. Now, what is a minimum viable launch? Basically, if you're looking to test a new idea for a course or a product and you don't know whether your target audience would want something like this minimum viable launch is the perfect process that you can use to not only validate your idea but get feedback from the right people and also end up getting testimonials so if you're someone who's looking to launch a course for the first time or if you're someone who has a new idea and you're looking to launch a new course then this video is for you now let's get into the process so I'm going to be sharing a case study of how I did a minimum viable launch last month uh, for my first online course and I was able to get 10 people in which was my target at a minimum cost for the course and I'm going to relaunch the course in about two months for uh, more than nine times the cost so basically I charge them 10 percent of the course uh, price and I'm going to be charging the full price when I launch it again a couple of months down the line so let's look at my goal for this launch so again my goal for this launch was to validate my product idea for my audience get feedback from the right people get testimonials so that I can use that for the bigger launch and also spend zero dollars on the launch so basically I wanted to test the idea first before I uh, before I put in time money and effort into the launch so I I had this launch with zero dollars so basically I did not spend anything on software I did not spend anything on back-end tools I did not spend anything on ads and let's see how I did this launch so the first part was creating the lead magnet and I wanted to create something that would let people uh, know my style of doing videos and my accent as well and I also wanted to do something short and quick because again this was a very quick launch between creating the lead magnet and getting those 10 people it was probably a two-week launch because again it was a new idea and I wanted to test it quickly so for the lead magnet I created a free mini course which was uh, spread over five days and I shared a video and a PDF each day again I created videos because I wanted them to know my style of doing videos and also whether they were comfortable with my accent and I kept the videos short because I wanted to uh, wanted the videos to be actionable so I wanted them to take steps immediately and I wanted them to make the most out of the free mini course so that was the plan with the lead magnet now what I did was instead of using a software like lead pages or even convert kit to create my landing page I created my landing page right inside of many chat now many chat is a software that you use if you're using Facebook messenger bots in your business and a lot of uh, a lot of stuff inside of ManyChat it comes with the free account. So if you're using the free account, you will be you, you will be able to use the grow tool that lets you build a landing page with ManyChat. So it was really simple. It took me five minutes to create the landing page inside of ManyChat for my lead magnet. And then again, I delivered the free mini course through my messenger bot. So I created a sequence of five days where each day I shared a video with them and a PDF right inside of the bot. So again, the lead magnet landing page was inside of ManyChat. The delivery of the lead magnet was inside of ManyChat, so through the bot sequence. I created the videos for my free course using Loom, which is again a free software. It's really good, uh, really, a good option for a free software because it lets you uh, lets you screenshot videos lets you record your own videos and also lets you edit, edit videos and it's pretty good so I used loom 
again, I shared the videos inside of the sequence in a mini chat. And at the end of the sequence, so in the last video, I shared my course details and uh, asked them that, uh, you know, I told them that it was a beta launch and that if they were interested, they could just click on a button and I created a button. Now what that button did was, so if someone clicked on that button, I would get a notification from many chat that this person has clicked on the button and they are interested in your course. This is again, something that's available inside of many chat, but I think it's with the pro option. So it's called the notification feature, notify the admin. So once I was notified, I would go in myself and talk to the person, have a conversation again over messenger asking them you know if they had any questions and you know how did they find the mini course and all those things and if they were ready to go ahead i would send them a paypal link and they would make the payment and once the payment was made i added them to a facebook group again i ran the entire course through a free Facebook group. So I did not have Podia, I did not have Teachable, none of those software options. My aim was to create videos, take feedback from my people, and then improvise on those videos for my future launch. So all the videos were shared inside the free Facebook group. So again, the process was simple. They went through the free mini course. They clicked on a button if they were interested in course details and interested in buying the course. Then I would talk to them and I would give them a PayPal link. And then once they made the payment, I would add them to the Facebook group, right? So this was a pretty easy process and pretty easy to set up. It probably took me a day to set up the entire thing. Again, now this is not ideal because sharing a PayPal link for people, you know, it's just not ideal. But I knew that I needed only 10 people and I think for 10 people it was pretty okay to go through this process of a personal conversation and getting them in. Again, like I said, my goal was to uh, get 10 people in and I wanted to make it a very personal experience because I wanted their feedback and I wanted their testimonials I, and I really wanted to make my course really good. So this was the first part and this is basically the overall process of how I did it for free. And the second part was again promoting my lead man right? So if I have to get people inside my course, I have to force them first get them inside my mini course, which was free. So for uh, getting people in for promotions, I used my own Facebook group. I used other Facebook groups where I'm active. I used my email list. I used my messenger bot list. And I did a lot of live streams around this inside my group and also on my personal page. So it was very basic promotion, like creating content on social media. It was very organic, but I did have a good following. Uh, on my Facebook uh, personal page inside my group on my email list. So I was kind of sure that I am going to get 10 people for this course, right? And again, my target was coaches, consultants and online service providers. And that was it. I knew my target audience. I knew my goal for this beta launch. I uh, used the entire process that was free for me. It hardly took any time to set everything up. And I also knew where I wanted to promote my lead magnet to get those people inside the mini, co uh, inside the mini course. So around 72 people registered for the mini course and I was able to get 10 people in and the course went really well. I got great feedback. I got great testimonials. I am improvising on my videos and I'm gonna be launching the course again in a couple of months. And once I do that, I will share with you my launch process. That's it for this video. If you, if you, if you want to learn more about business automation, Facebook ads, messenger bots, sales funnels, and email automation, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.